Digital video broadcasting is a suite of internationally accepted open standards for digital television. DVB standards are maintained by the DVB Project, an international industry consortium with more than 270 members, and are published by a joint technical committee of the European Telecommunications Standards Institute, European Committee for Electrotechnical Standardization and European Broadcasting Union. The interaction of the DVB substandards is described in the DVB cookbook. Many aspects of DVB are patented, including elements of the MPEG video coding and audio coding. Transmission DVB systems distribute data using a variety of approaches, including satellite DVBS, DVBS2, and DVBSH, DVBS MATV for distribution via SMATV. Cable DVBC DVB-C2, Terrestrial Television, DVB-T, DVB-T2, Digital Terrestrial Television for Handhelds, DVB-H, dvb -H. Microwave, using DTT, the MMDS, and or MVDS standards, these standards define the physical layer and data link layer of the distribution system. Devices interact with the physical layer via a synchronous parallel interface, synchronous serial interface or asynchronous serial interface. All data is transmitted in MPEG transport streams with some additional constraints. A standard for temporally compressed distribution to mobile devices was published in November 2004. These distribution systems differ mainly in the modulation schemes used and error-correcting codes used, due to the different technical constraints. DVBS uses QPSK, 8PSK or 16QAM. DVBS2 uses QPSK, 8PSK, 16APSK or 32APSK, at the broadcaster's decision. QPSK and 8PSK are the only versions regularly used. DVBC uses QAM, 16QAM, 32QAM, 64QAM, 128QAM or 256QAM. Lastly, DVB-T uses 16QAM or 64QAM in combination with OFDM and can support hierarchical modulation. The DVB-T2 specification was approved by the DVB Steering Board in June 2008 and sent to ETSI for adoption as a formal standard. ETSI adopted the standard on September 9, 2009. The DVB-T2 standard gives more robust TV reception and increases the possible bit rate by over 30% for single transmitters and should increase the max bit rate by over 50% in large single frequency networks. DVB has established a 3D TV group to identify what kind of 3D TV solution does the market want and need, and how can DVB play an active part in the creation of that solution. The CM3D TV Group held a DVB 3D TV kickoff workshop in Geneva on January 25, 2010, followed by the first CM3D TV meeting the next day. DVB now defines a new standard for 3D video broadcast, DVB 3D TV. Modes and features of latest DVB X2 system standards in comparison. Content, besides digital audio and digital video transmission. DVB also defines data connections with return channels for several media and protocols. Older technologies such as teletext and vertical blanking interval data are also supported by the standards to ease conversion. However, for many applications more advanced alternatives like DVB sub for subtitling are available. Encryption and metadata the conditional access system defines a common scrambling algorithm and a physical common interface for accessing scrambled content. DVBCA providers develop their wholly proprietary conditional access systems with reference to these specifications. Multiple simultaneous CA systems can be assigned to a scrambled DVB program stream providing operational and commercial flexibility for the service provider. DVB is also developing a content protection and copy management system for protecting content after it has been received, which is intended to allow flexible use of recorded content on a home network or beyond, while preventing unconstrained sharing on the Internet. DVB-CPCM has been the source of much controversy in the popular press and it is said that CPCM is the DVB's answer to the failed American broadcast flag.
DBB transports include metadata called service information that links the various elementary streams into coherent programs and provides human readable descriptions for electronic program guides as well as for automatic searching and filtering. The dating system used with this metadata suffers from a year 2038 problem in which due to the limited 16 bits and modified Julian day offset used will cause an overflow issue similar to the year 2000 problem. By comparison, the rival GCypher 2 based ATSE system will not have this issue until 2048 due in part to 32 bits being used. Recently, DVB has adopted a profile of the metadata defined by the TV Anytime Forum. This is an XML schema-based technology and the DVB profile is tailored for enhanced personal digital recorders. DVB lately also started an activity to develop a service for IPTV which also includes metadata definitions for a broadband content guide. Software Platform The DVB Multimedia Home Platform defines a Java-based platform for the development of consumer video system applications. In addition to providing abstractions for many DVB and MPEG2 concepts, it provides interfaces for other features like network card control, application download, and layered graphics. Return Channel DVB has standardized a number of return channels that work together with DVB, SC, to create bidirectional communication. RCS is short for Return Channel Satellite, and specifies return channels in C. Ku and car frequency bands with return bandwidth of up to 2 Mbit s. DVBRCT is short for return channel terrestrial, specified by ETSIEN 301958. Adoption DVBS and DVBC were ratified in 1994. DVBT was ratified in early 1997. The first commercial DVB-T broadcasts were performed by the United Kingdom's Digital TV Group in late 1998. In 2003 Berlin, Germany was the first area to completely stop broadcasting analog TV signals. Most European countries are fully covered by digital television and many have switched off PALSECAM services. In Europe, as well as in Australia, South Africa and India, DVB is used throughout. This also holds true for cable and satellite in most Asian, African and many South American countries. Many of these have not yet selected a format for digital terrestrial broadcasts and a few have chosen ATSC instead of DVBT. Equals African equals. Kenya, DVBT broadcasts were launched by the President of Kenya, Mwai Kaibaki on December 9, 2009. Broadcasts are using H264 with the University of Nairobi supplying the decoders. Kenya has also been broadcasting DVBH since July 2009, available on selected Nokia and ZTE handsets on the Safaricom and other GSM networks. South Africa, since 1995, the pay TV operator DSTV used the DVBS standard to broadcast its services. In 2010 it started a DVB over IP service, and in 2011 it started DSTV Mobile using the DVBH standard. In late 2010, the South African Cabinet endorsed a decision by a Southern African Development Community Task Team to adopt the DVB-T2 standard. Equals Asia equals, in Asia several standards are under implementation. China Hong Kong, in Hong Kong Several cable TV operators such as TVB Payvision and Cable TV have already started using DVBS or DVBC. The government however has adopted the DMBTH standard, developed in mainland China, for its digital terrestrial broadcasting services which has started since December 31, 2007. Iran, on March 17, 2009, DVBH and DVBTH 264-AAC broadcasting started in Tehran. DVBT broadcasting now available in other cities like Isfahan, Mashhad, Shiraz, Qom, Tabriz and Rasht. India, Indian government announced the discontinuation of analog signals in the four metropolitan cities of Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata by March 31, 2012 and for Tier 2 cities such as Bangalore. By March 31, 2013, 
Most houses are now required to use a digital set-top box to watch cable television in several cities in India. An example set-top box is a Cisco DVB box provided by one of the digital television providers. Israel, DVB-T broadcasts using H-264 commenced in Israel on June 1, 2009 with the broadcast trial and the full broadcast began on August 2, 2009. Analog broadcasts were originally planned to end in 18 months after the launch, but analog broadcasts were switched off on March 31, 2011 instead. During 2010, DVB-T broadcasts have become widely available in most of Israel and an EPG was added to the broadcasts. Japan, with the exception of Sky Perfect. Japan uses different formats in all areas, which are however quite similar to their DVB counterparts. Sky Perfect is a satellite provider using DVB on its 124 and 128 degrees east satellites. Its satellite at 110 degrees east does not use DVB, however. Malaysia, in Malaysia, a new pay television station MeTV began service in September 2005 using DVB IPTV technology while loan satellite programming provider Astro has been transmitting in DVBS since its inception in 1996. Free-to-air DVB-T trials began in late 2006 with a simulcast of both TV1 and TV2 plus a new channel called RTM3 slash RTMI. In April 2007, RTM announced that the outcome of the test is favorable and expects DVB-T to go public by the end of 2007. However, the system did not go public as planned. As of 2008, the trial digital lineup has expanded to include a music television channel called Music Active, and a sports channel called Arena, with a news channel called Berita Active planned for inclusion in the extended trials soon. Also, high-definition trials were performed during the Beijing Olympics and the outcome was also favorable. It was announced that the system would go public in 2009. In 2009, MeTV closed down changed its name to U Television and announced that it was changing to Scramble DVB-T upon relaunch instead of the DVB-IPTV system used prior to shutting down. However, RTM's digital network again did not go public, although around this time TVs that are first-generation DVB-T capable went on sale. The government has since announced that they will be deploying DVB-T2 instead in stages starting in mid-2015 and analog shut-off as has been delayed to 2017. Philippines In the Philippines, DVB-S and DVB-S2 are the two broadcast standards currently used by satellite companies, while DVB-C is also used by some cable companies. The government adopted DVB-T in November 2006 for digital terrestrial broadcasting but a year later, it considered other standards to replace DVB-T. The country has chosen the ISDBT system instead of DVB-T. Taiwan In Taiwan, some digital cable television systems use DVB-C, though most customers still use analog and TSC cable television. The government planned adopting ATSC or the Japanese ISDBT standard as NTSC's replacement. However, the country has chosen the European DVB-T system instead. Public Television Service and Formosan TV now provided high-definition television. The former has a channel called High HD. The latter uses its HD channel for broadcasting MLB baseball. Equals Europe equals. Cyprus, Cyprus uses DVB-T with MPEG-4 encoding. Analog transmission stopped on July 1, 2011 for all channels except CYBC1. Denmark In Denmark, DVB-T replaced the analog transmission system for TV on November 1, 2009. Danish national digital TV transmission has been outsourced to the company Boxer TV AS, acting as gatekeeper organization for terrestrial TV transmission in Denmark. However, there are still several free channels from Drive. Finland. DVB-T transmissions were launched on August 21, 2001. The analog networks continued alongside the digital ones until September 1, 2007, when they were shut down nationwide. Before the analog switch-off, the terrestrial network had three multiplexes, MUXA, 
MUXB and MUXC MUXA contained the channels of the public broadcaster LAI's radio and MUXB was shared between the two commercial broadcasters, MTV3 and Nalonan. MUXC contained channels of various other broadcasters. After the analog closed down, a fourth multiplex named MUXE was launched. All of the LAI's radio channels are broadcast free to air, likewise a handful of commercial ones including MTV3. Nalonan, SUB TV, JIM, Nalonan Sport, LIV, FOX, TV5 Finland, AVA and Kitonan. There are also several pay channels sold by Plus TV. Italy. The switch off from analog terrestrial network to DVBT started on October 15, 2008. Analog broadcast was ended on July 4, 2012 after nearly four years of transition in phases. Netherlands. In the Netherlands, DVBS broadcasting started on July 1, 1996. Satellite provider MultiChoice switched off the analog service shortly after on August 18, 1996. DVBT broadcasting started April 2003, and terrestrial analog broadcasting was switched off December 2006. It was initially marketed by the G10 but later by KPN. Multiplex 1 contains the NPO1. NPO2 and NPO3 national TV channels, and a regional channel. Multiplexes 2 to 5 have the other encrypted commercial and international channels. Multiplex 1 also broadcasts the radio channels Radio 1, Radio 2, 3 Fathoms, Radio 4, Radio 5, Radio 6, Concert Sender, Fun X and also a regional channel. As of June 2011, the Dutch DVBT service had 29 TV channels and 20 radio channels. Norway, in Norway, DVBT broadcasting is marketed under RIKS TV and NRK. DVBT broadcasting via the terrestrial network began in November 2007, and has subsequently been rolled out one part of the country at a time. The Norwegian implementation of DVBT is different from most others as it uses H264 with HEAAC audio encoding, while most other countries have adapted the less recent MPEG-2 standard. Notably most DVB software for PC has problems with this, though in late 2007 compatible software was released, like Viewer using the Lieb for 2 library. Sony has released several HDTVs that support Norway's DVB-T implementation without use of a separate set-top box, and Sega MITD 91 HD, Grandig DTR 8720 STBs are others. Poland, currently, Poland uses the DVB-T standard with MPEG-4 encoding. Analog broadcast switch off started on November 7, 2012 and was completed on July 23, 2013. Portugal, Portugal follows the DVB-T implementation, using H264 with AAC audio encoding. It has been lived since April 29, 2009 and the switch off date for all analog signals was on April 26, 2012. Russia, currently, Russia uses the DVB-T standard with MPEG-4 encoding for the limited experimental broadcasting and cable networks, majority of TV broadcasting still being done in the old analog SECAM standard. The Ministry of Communication, however, pledged to switch to the DVB-T2 as the transmitting centers are gradually upgraded, and plans to abandon analog broadcast by 2015, funds permitting. Several pilot broadcasting centers in some regions are already online in simulcasting in DVB-T2 SD and SECAM signal since February 2010, with more to go. Only one channel pack with 8 to 10 main national radio and TV channels is available for now with more planned to be added as the digital TV network is expanded. United Kingdom In the UK DVB-T has been adopted for broadcast of standard definition terrestrial programming, as well as a single DVB-T2 multiplex for high definition programming. The UK terminated all analog terrestrial broadcasts by the end of 2012. The vast majority of channels are available free to air through the Freeview service. DVB-T was also used for the now defunct on digital ITV digital and top-up TV service. All satellite programming is broadcast using either DVBS or DVBS2. 
subscription-based cable television from Virgin Media uses DVB-C, alongside a limited selection of analog channels. Equals North America equals, in North America, DVB-S is often used in encoding and video compression of digital satellite communications alongside Hughes DSS. Unlike Motorola's G-Cypher 2 standard, DVB has a wider adoption in terms of the number of manufacturers of receivers. Terrestrial digital television broadcasts in Canada, Mexico, El Salvador, Honduras, and the United States use ATSC encoding with 8VSB modulation instead of DVB-T with COFDM. Equals Oceania equals New Zealand, in New Zealand, DVB broadcasting is marketed under the Freeview brand name. SDMPEG2 DVBS broadcasts via satellite began on May 2, 2007 and DVBT broadcasts began April 2008 broadcasting in HDH264 video with HEAAC audio. DVB compliant products, companies that manufacture a product which is compliant to one or more DVB standards have the option of registering a declaration of conformity for that product. Wherever the DVB trademark is used in relation to a product a euro be it a broadcast, a service, an application or equipment a euro the product must be registered with the DVB project office. See also, CI plus Common Interface plus, Digital Audio Broadcasting, Digital Radio Mondial, Digital Multimedia Broadcasting, ETSI Satellite Digital Radio, FTA Receiver, ISDB. Integrated Services Digital Broadcasting, List of Digital Television Deployments by Country References External Links, DVB Project, Broadcast Software Video Tools Rumblehouse Media Multiscope Light